Could this be the video that gets me banished from YouTube? Stay tuned and find out. How you doing? My name is Aaron Alexander, and this is what I have for you today. Well, it's been an interesting last few weeks, wouldn't you say? We just found out that the God Emperor's son-in-law is actually Grimma Wormtongue, and corporate America would rather push SJW propaganda, complete with virtue signaling, instead of posting a video ad on PewDiePie or John Trom's videos. And speaking of which... YouTube has gone full fucking Twitter here. No joke! Ever since the legacy media began their witch hunt and labeled PewDiePie and JonTron alleged Nazis, ad agencies have been doing their best Knights of the Round Table impression. Ever since then, it's been Armageddon here on YouTube. Content creators are losing money faster than a degenerate gambler in Vegas, and their videos are getting throttled, their views are collapsing, and the YouTubers that see the writing on the wall are fucking off to VidMe to avoid the impending mushroom cloud. And that mushroom cloud takes the form of YouTube TV, where irrelevant cable channels from the fake news that is CNN to the endless parade of social justice whining and virtue signaling bullshit from the once great MTV, which, let's face it, hasn't been great in the last two decades since Daria went off the air. Are fish using our oceans as their own private toilets? A Six Ad World exclusive right after this. So how is YouTube, or should I say Google, keelhauling all these content creators out in favor of these bland corporate robotic idiots? Exhibit A. Demonetization. As I said earlier, advertisers pulled away from their AdSense program because the legacy media's autistic screeching pointed out that there was an ad on an extremist video. The advertisers got spooked, and the only way Google could get them back was they had to put on certain restrictions. Restriction number one, unless you got a video over 10,000, no money for you. Number two, there is now a tighter criteria to decide whether or not your video could be monetized. Even a hint of controversial topics, aka anything that doesn't follow the quote-unquote mainstream view, is immediately refused monetization. At first, they targeted non-progressive political commentators such as Paul Joseph Watson, Lauren Southern, Sargon of Akkad, and even Blonde in the Belly of the Beast to have their monetization revoked. The last person I mentioned, Blonde in the Belly of the Beast, had a video critical of Trump's decision about Syria. Even that's not good enough for monetization. Now YouTube is training their howitzers on non-political guys, such as Phil DeFranco and Mr. Repsion, who hardly ever talk about politics on their channels. And by the way, Mr. Repsion has the best Deadpool cosplay ever. Fight me if you disagree. So, tell me something, Google. How in pray tell do I be eligible for monetization? What? Do I have to dye my hair pink? Wear problem glasses? Gain 300 pounds? Be triggered 24-7? Is that how am I supposed to get monetized? Huh? You goddamn pricks? And here come the trolls saying, Ha 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 ha! You can't get your tendies! Get a real job like everyone else! Well, two things. Number one... I do have a real job. Number two, I'm not getting paid to do YouTube. I don't want to monetize my videos. The only time I'll ever get paid to do my videos is only if people watching my shit wants to send me something and I get requests for that. So until that happens, no pay for YouTube, okay? And of course, these idiots are still snickering. Well, then why do you care about the whole demonetization thing? Well... This leads me to Exhibit B. YouTube is using restricted mode to basically throttle people's views and make sure they don't go viral. To understand what I'm talking about, I'm going to put a few things up on the screen here because I think I might be a victim of said throttling. So here on the screen, take a look. 
Here is my glorious video page. It's got the first four episodes plus the fail boat warning that I posted on Saturday. I want you to take a look at the view count, especially on the first one, my Bioware video. Look at the views. It started about 900 views in the last two weeks, okay? Look at episode two, the He Will Not Divide Us video. Those views have took a goddamn nosedive. It was almost a third of my original view count for the Bioware video. Look at episode three. It has even cracked triple digits. And the same could be said about my John Tron video, which I posted about a few days later. You seeing a pattern here, folks? Here's what I think is happening. Let's move on to the glorious main channel page. It's got the videos. It's got my playlist. The related channels like Sticks, Hex, and Hammer, Razor Fist, Chris Move. How the hell did Angry Joe get on my related channels? Now, I want you to take a look at this because I did a little science experiment and I signed off of my account. Have a look at this. Where's the goddamn videos? Jesus freaking Christ. And this is not just happening to me, folks. It's happening to PewDiePie. It's happening to Jantron, Sargon, any content creator that's worth its salt. Even the progressive ones like Cat Black are getting hit. What's the story, Google? You rather have some hipster from Vice reviewing video games instead of Alpha Omega Sin? If so, your platform is not long for the internet, buddy. This brings me to Exhibit C. Blacklisting! The following video I'm going to show you is from a guy named David Pakman. Now, I'm not a watcher of David Pakman, I'll confess, because, unfortunately, he's a progressive. But, the good news here is, he's not insufferable like the other ones. And he was pretty much with us when the Gamergate controversy happened. So let's have a look at what he revealed. And here is where it gets even more disturbing. I've not seen any reporting on this yet. I believe we are breaking this. I'm going to show you and read to you a letter from an actual YouTube advertiser who is trying to advertise on the David Pakman show YouTube channel. And it appears as though we and other channels, including Kyle Kalinsky's secular talk, have been blacklisted. OK, here is the letter that I got. And I apologize for the small print. I, I will try to explain everything that's going on here. Hey, David, I'm the chick from Twitter that says I've been advertising on your channel specifically for a few weeks and noticed a huge drop in my impressions over the last couple of days. Basically, I advertise in front of very specific channels. Yours is one of them, along with Sam Cedar, Humanist Report, Ring of Fire and Secular Talk. My ads have consistently had more placements on your videos than anyone else's. Yesterday, you fell to the bottom. Only six impressions for the day. Remember, we had nearly half a million views and you were at the bottom of the list again today with only five impressions so far today. The daily impressions don't seem to have changed much for the other channels I advertise in front of. So it was clear that it had something to do with your channel specifically. I just called and spoke with customer service at AdWords. I spoke with a great guy who spent a lot of time looking at things and talking with his dude at YouTube to see if they could figure out why. The first thing he told me is what they're telling everyone. They've cracked down, especially hard right now until they figure out how to fix the situation for everyone. Fine, I say, but that doesn't explain the disproportionate way this is affecting Pacman's channel more than the other people I'm advertising on. So he put me on hold while he talked more with someone from YouTube. And what he thinks could be the issue is your titles could be considered more provocative. He pointed to words in your titles like homosexual, hate, burning, son of God, etc., which he said might be affecting your advertisement placements. He did say that right now things are much stricter than what they will be once they get it worked out and that hopefully the strictness of it will lighten up. But for right now, those words are apparently big no, no words, basically anything that sounds provocative. Anyway, that's what I know about it. Hope this helps just a little love your show. God, Jesus Christ. And you know what's the worst part of this? This is not coming from a conservative channel. This is not coming from an alt-right channel. This is not coming from a libertarian channel. Hell, it even coming from a classic liberal channel. This is coming 
from a progressive channel. And they're blacklisting even progressives that don't follow the SJW guidelines? So there you have it, folks. The advertisers have officially declared war on YouTube and any creator that doesn't toe their line. So instead of putting their ads on YouTube videos, they shoot stupid commercials such as this. We are the chosen, we gonna shine out the dark We are the movement, this generation You gotta know who we are oh. So, I know what you're asking, how do we combat this? Well, Sticks Hex and Hammer 666 has a video describing a good way to combat this by sort of following each other, subscribing each other sort of create our own network of sorts, an ad hoc network very loosely based. The link to that video will be right in the video description, so please go check it out. But I also have a few ideas of my own. Idea number one, I think the major YouTube creators need to start uploading on Vidme and pretty much starve the beast. Let YouTube know how, what it's like to have no independent content creators and having nothing but robotic drones populating your channel. It'll go the way of MySpace, I guarantee it. Option two, start buying the creator swag. I mean, they got swag content. You can buy shirts, merchandise, hell, even crowdfund them, you know? Help with their Patreon campaigns or Kickstarters or whatever project they got. So if you if you help fund them, it will keep them going. It'll be, it basically is like public television or public access, but a lot more awesome. As for Google, well, you officially have two choices. You can't choose both. You can kiss the ass of advertisers and say goodbye to independent content. Just have idiots from CNN or MTV, Vice Media, or any bland network bullshit. Oh, hell, you can even have Jeff Keighley do the goddamn video game reviews from now on. How about that? Or... You can dish these advertisers and start supporting independent content like you used to. Sure, you're not going to get as much ad money, but you know what? You're already running at a loss. So you know what? Shit happens. You're going to have to find some advertisers that would want to ad put ads on our videos. Okay? So, make up your mind, Google. Clock's ticking. Before I go, I would just want to remind you that you can also find this video on Vidme and all my previous videos there. I will be uploading them there as well. And another thing, instead of the usual sign-off, I'm going to close out with a little dance number, a little ditty, if you will, from a guy named Ben Minot of the Oddity Archive. He did a song back in one of his earlier videos titled, Dear Corporate Sponsor. I still laugh my ass off whenever he plays that song, so I hope you enjoy that. So, with that said, that's all I have for you for right now. Thank you for watching, take care and bye. Benny Boy, play us out. Oh my dear corporate sponsors, please take me back. I really don't like living on the wrong side of the tracks. Oh my dear corporate sponsors, though I don't know who you are. I really don't like driving in my 1986 car. Oh, my dear corporate sponsors, I'm sinking in debt. And I don't really want to know how much worse things can get. Oh, my dear corporate sponsors, please take me in your arms, your charms. I'll be your personal slut, but be gentle.